Hey guys, I'm Kennedy, and I thought I would make this channel to share my love of American Girl dolls with everyone, because I love them so much, and I thought this would be a great way to just share that with everyone, because I think they're so cool. So I want to do today a video about sharing my American Girl collection, just the dolls that I have. So I have quite a few I've gotten over the past about five years. I'm just going to start with the very first one I got. So this is Grace. She was the girl of the year in 2015. And a little bit of story about her. So um, I've been wanting an American Girl doll since I was eight years old. I started looking at the magazine with my sisters and we were like, okay, this is where we're gonna get this one. And it never happened. And then like five years later, we got the Girl of the Year 2015 magazine. And I was looking at it and my mom was like, this year we should be able to get you one if you want to pick one. So I had a long, hard time. I was like, they're all so pretty. Which one do I want? I love them all so much. And I had a lot of time because my birthday isn't until November and I saw her first in January and we got the magazine. So uh, I went to the Man Girl store for the very first time that year and looked at all the dolls and I was like, oh, there's so many pretty, there's so many I want. I should get a Biddy Twin, a Rebecca. Um, and eventually in that summer I watched her movie and then I realized, no, I want Grace. I love Grace. She's so pretty. I love that she ba does baking because I also like baking. And my middle name is also Grace, so I thought that was cool. And I just think she's such a pretty doll. And I was really happy that I got her for the first time, even though I didn't wasn't able to get so much for her collection, but I loved being able to get her. So this is Grace, Girl of the Year 2015, my very first doll. The next doll I got was for Christmas that year, which was about a month later, I got Baby Twins. So I had always loved the Baby Twins too. They were so cute. And I looked at the magazine, looked at the British one stuff so much. And one time I went through and named all of them. So I was like, I want all the Bitty twins. These are the first two that I got. I got for Christmas that year. So this is Addie. She's the brown haired, brown eyed one. And this is Kevin. So I know they're not actually the matching set, but I fell in love with Kevin after I named him. And I was like, I don't know why, but I really wanted this one instead of the one that matches with Kevin. So I got these two for Christmas that year. The next doll that I got was Leah. So Leah is the 2016 Girl of the Year. Immediately, as soon as I saw her whole new collection, I loved her and I was like, I want this doll so bad. I want everything in her collection. And so I decided I bought her for myself. She was um, the first doll I bought for myself. I bought her and I was so in love with her. I took her to Vob with her and all that stuff. This is her me outfit, so cute. I love Leah, she's so pretty. The next doll that I got was this Bitty Baby. So um, I fell in love with the Bitty Baby collection and I looked at all of the stuff. I was like, I want a Bitty Baby so bad because I want to get a bunch of Bitty Baby stuff. So I looked on eBay and I met, and I found her. I named her Sophie. She's wearing her this, I think it's a Bitty Baby birthday dress because she didn't come in a sleeper that she got. So I have her. Next doll that I got, I got for my birthday, um, my 14th birthday. Well, no. I got her for, I think my 15th birthday and she is so pretty so this is emily <clears throat> she is molly's friend they their era is like um the world war ii era and she's british which i love because i love harry potter and all that stuff <clears throat> she is so pretty i'd wanted her for so many years as well and i was so happy that i found a really good price for her in all collections on ebay because she was retired way before that i ended up getting her so I got her and her super cute outfit and a couple other things for my birthday that year. And I love her, she's so pretty. The next doll that I got, that I actually I made this doll, this is Evie from Descendants. So I really love Descendants, I'm a huge fan. And so I decided to make my an Evie American Girl doll because if you buy them, there are hundreds of dolls and I was like, I can make them cheaper. So I bought a jewelry doll off of eBay and I dyed her hair blue and I bought this outfit for her. So this is Evie. And I was so happy that I made her because I love Evie. She's my favorite character from Descendants. And I was really happy to have a doll of her. 
and then I kind of missed it all but that's okay I got these two baby twins for my 14th birthday so these are um the other set the brown hair brown eyes twins this one's Aiden and this one is Avery since I already have one of this doll of this one right here I just gave her a different name and they didn't actually come from American Girl Store because when I got them they were already they already retired the Bitty Twin line and they replaced it with the Well Wishers. So my mom found them online for me and bought them for me. And she put them in these super cute little outfits. The next doll I got was actually for Christmas 2018. So this is Rebecca. She is a historical doll. She's from 1914. And I loved Rebecca for so many years. This is one of the dolls that I'd wanted really bad for so long. I debated getting her for my very first doll. And I got her for Christmas for my dad. I just love her so much. She's so pretty. The doll's so pretty. I love her story. It's it really interesting. And she just has such an ama amazing line. The next doll I got was in the summer. This past summer we just had, um, 2019, I was going to some thrift stores with my dad because we were looking for stuff and I saw this American Girl doll in one of the cabinets and they were selling her and a bunch of accessories for $20 so I was like, there's no way you can pass that up, it's such a good deal. She's so pretty, she has her ears pierced, the only doll I have that has her ears pierced. She comes with these only these earrings and she's actually a truly me doll that I named Savannah and this is the outfit that she would have came in if she came from the store that time because this is one of the older line of truly me and then i bought these glasses to go on her because i think they're so pretty so i loved her she's really pretty this is savannah the next doll i got was also this past summer my grandma got her for me she found her at a garage sale this is josefina um so i didn't really know much about her at first i just um i knew she was from 1824 and i knew she was mexican-american but other than that, I didn't know very much. And so my grandma was like, I, ha I have this super cool thing. She knows I love American Girl. She just gave me her with a bunch of accessories and stuff. And I was like, oh, wow, she's got, she's really pretty. Like, then I read more about her story. And I realized that she's actually, it's a really interesting story that I never knew about before. Because I had before really not wanted her. But then I got her and I read so much. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love her. Because I really like history. And she has a really interesting story. And she also has earrings. She has these hoop earrings that you don't, can't take out and they're the only ones that come with her. But she's really pretty and I love her too. And then for my birthday, for my 17th birthday, I got these ones. So, I am a huge Harry Potter fan. Couldn't tell I'm wearing a Harry Potter shirt. And my mom got me these three Wally Wishers. She actually bought them in January of the year that she gave them to me. My birthday isn't until November. She held on for them for so long and she was so excited to finally give them to me. They're the cutest things ever. So it's Hermione. They all have wands and they all have Hogwarts outfits that are so much like them. They are so cute. Harry and Ron, the golden trio. We made in Wally Wisher size, which I love so much. Because Harry Potter and American Girl are two of my favorite things. They also all have wands. You couldn't tell. It kind of looked like they're eating them. But their outfits are so cute. And they're so exact. I love them so much. Then, the next doll I got was for Christmas. This one we just had, 2019 Christmas. This is Blair. She was the Girl of the Year 2019. And I just love Blair. As soon as I saw her collection come out, I thought she was the prettiest doll ever. She has beautiful red hair. So pretty, so curly. And her dress is super cute and all her clothes are so cute. She has like a farm and all that kind of things. And I just love her so much. So pretty. I was so excited that I got her for Christmas from my mom. Because I had wanted her so bad. And I'm really excited that they make the Girl of the Year collections. They don't just put them out for one year anymore. You can buy them for more than one year. Because I've been able to get a bunch more um, Blair stuff this year. Because I only had gotten her and her accessories last year. And the last doll, most recent one I got, 
is Joss. So Joss is the girl of the year 2020. And they actually released her before 2020. You can buy her online. And I thought she was the pretty, one of the prettiest dolls too. She's so pretty. I love her so much. She does cheer and surfing. So that's why she's wearing a swimsuit. She also has a hearing aid, which I thought was really cool that they made a doll. Came with a hearing aid. And she has the prettiest hair ever. She has brown hair and brown eyes, like I do. I love that. They don't have they. Um, they haven't had one in a while that has that. And I just thought she was so pretty. So I was so excited that when I went to the American Girl store with my mom for the very first time. Because I had been a lot of times with my dad in the past, but I had never been with my mom. I went with her at a volleyball tournament. And she said that I could get her. And I was so happy that I had been able to get her. Because she's so pretty. And I love her so much. And I really want so many things from her collection so those are all my american girl dolls and i really hope to be able to get more in the future obviously because american girl makes the prettiest dolls ever i love most of them are the prettiest things and they have great stories i love they have a story component with them because i really like to read so i like reading their stories when they have them and i hope you guys like watching this uh, those are all my dolls I know I have quite a few of them. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you do. And I'll be posting more videos of all of the accessories that I have for some of these dolls soon. Bye.